All right. Well, let's let's talk, I guess, more broadly, general, not sort of insurance specific, but just as a small business. I think there's a real imperative to to know in a business what services are you are engaging externally, what contracts that you actually have and are engaging with others, and what are the implications of those contracts. So the clean up mindset is about. Everybody's looking at the moment to cost save. Expenses are increasing. The cost of everything's increasing. So the whole idea is, as a small business, what do I need to take a stock take of? It's not necessarily assets, but it's also the services that you're engaging other people to perform on your behalf. So they, they could be accounting services, IT services, insurance broking services, but take a bit of a stock take and, say, and, and, and focus on what is the value that I'm actually deriving from that cost I'm incurring in my business. And you might say, some of these things I'm engaging, I can handle myself now. Business has grown up a bit. Or, look, I've just engaged in this service provider you know, when I was starting out, and I've now evolved, and maybe they're not the best service provider for us any longer. So it's, it's worthwhile in, with a clean-up mindset to have a, a real good look at those, at those, all those outgoings that you're paying out as a business to ensure, one, one you understand the value they're, they're, they're deriving for you and your business. Can they be done alternatively? Or should I actually engage with someone else to get a, bit of, a better understanding and a different perspective on those outgoings that we're currently engaging? Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And, and look, you mentioned we're dealing with a lot of different suppliers and, and maybe that's a good thing to do is, is actually... And look, going back to my spring cleaning, before I actually went, went around the house madly throwing things out, I actually did a bit of a stock take of each room and said, well, what's in there that we've got? And then do we need it? Do we keep it? Do we throw it? But maybe a starting point might be to actually have a, a listing of who are all the people that you're contracting with or, or that you use as suppliers and do you still use them? Or, or you know, what is the risk of continuing to use that, that business? So it becomes initially a bit of an audit. And then through that audit, you can identify either gaps. Oh, my goodness, there's things our business has matured and grown such that there are services that I do need that I'm not actually engaging with at the moment. Also, there could be some duplications, things that, hang on, I've got two different service providers that are actually addressing similar components. So you can consolidate and actually make some savings to that exercise as well. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So... Talking about things we're not using in duplications, Luke, you and I have had this conversation multiple times about software that people have subscribed for that they don't use or don't need. Do you want to sort of... Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, during COVID, it was this sudden need to do something, work from home, change the way we do things, buy equipment that we probably didn't need before. So you've got this situation now where that's all over, I had to buy things to continue to function as a business over the period. Do I still need those? Have I gone too far? Have I bought things that other software or subscriptions that I'm using already cater for? And, and you know, you talk about your, your Netflix and all these other home streaming services. Everyone's got multitude of them and they all give you films, right? Some have got, you know, exclusive contracts, etc. But you're paying a little bit of money times a lot, right? The same with your IT. You've got, you know, most people have 365, they will have their accounting software, they'll have other softwares that sometimes do the same thing or have features within them that just have to be turned on or enabled to give you that ability to be able to do the things that you can remove from some of the other subscriptions that you're paying for. And that helps to consolidate not only your billing, but also the way you guys operate as a business. And then, of course, you know, looking at your hardware assets as well you know people had to rush out and buy monitors and docks and laptops and now they've got a surplus of desktops sitting in their cupboard they've got all this equipment which actually has data on it so there's also a risk there as well which we'll, we can touch on a bit later but just looking at all your subscriptions what are you using are you aware of all the things that those subscriptions do have and can you make the most of the ones that you've already got 